Hey there guys, Soul here. Welcome back to the last boss fight in Trail of the Cold Zone 3. Yes, this is going to be the absolute last boss fight of the entire game. I feel satisfied. Now, before we actually go on, let me actually show you, show you guys my final equipment that I'm going to be taking with these four. Because we have these three. These four with us to take on Zoro. Zoro is in there waiting for us. Apparently from what I was told that you can't actually can make three best weapons, but Unfortunately, I was only able to make two, one for Yuna for increased more damage for her break damage and one for Rina, obviously, since he's the main character. And he's a pretty heavy hitter himself, anyway. And of course, in terms of ornaments. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty intense battle. A pretty, pretty, pretty intense battle. And as you can see, everyone who stayed behind doesn't have their course no more because there's no reason for it. Because we're not going back. Because there's no, there's a point in no return. Because I never really showed it off. But if you go back to the room where they were fighting, he, the ring will say, "Oh, now's not the time to go back and just, and just leave the fighting to them." All right, with that being said, let's actually go on ahead. Once you step through this door, that's the point of no return. We should have a ring out in the field since it's more appropriate. Um, yeah, I think we're good. All right, so let's get on with it. I hope you guys like cutscenes because there's going to be a crap ton of them in this area. Yep, point of no return. Let's go. Let's go save all two now. I'm feeling quite nervous, but I don't know how things are going to work out. Oh my god, I enter a gameplay block scene. No, look away. <laughs> this scene is forbidden. Anyway. <laughs> yep, and there goes Cedric and them. Yep, Cedric. Kanojo, a Bujidao, Imano Tokoroa. Sorry, Uri, being your gun. Of Tarini, I said so, Saretua. Now, the things about Cedric is supposedly, from what I've heard, the reason why Cedric seems kind of like menacing and like cynical. If it would, it's supposed to be because of the after effects of when he was absorbed into Tessarosa. They kind of like, it kind of screwed up his mind. マネカレザル客だが、押すと年して歓迎させてもらおうか。この後に及んで挨拶は結構だ。それから、やっぱりあなただったか。帝国学術院、ルーグマン教授。姓の王さんにして黒の工房の統括者。黒のアルベリヒ。アルベリック。はじめましてという<笑> If you guys want to know the main goal of what Oswald and, and Albert are trying to achieve, along with Cedric following them behind, is that they're trying to create the Sword of Demise, which I was actually corrected. It wasn't the Sword of Twilight. It was to release the Great Twilight. <laughs> and in order to create, to create a Sword of, of Demise, you need to kill an OZ series, which have reached their primal field, I believe, I uh, was told. <laughs> Million has reached that too, when she cried at the end of Sin 2, but Altina reached hers in this game, when, as you as you guys saw, she was getting more emotional, and she was being more expressive. <laughs> so basically, spend time with Reen, and, and you'll become more emotional. And expressive. He has that effect. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments about that. I don't mind being corrected. Yeah, 
バリマールとも関係があるらしいが呪いを完成させるってふざけるんじゃないわよ1200年前に存在していた炎の司法アークルージュに大地の司法ロストゼウム<音楽>その総国の果てに生まれた鋼を知性と魔女は七つに分割して抑えたしかし力はともかく呪いまでは抑えきれなかったのだそうして暗黒流獅子戦役14年前の百日戦役などは起きたもちろん1年半前の内戦や皇帝が撃たれたことも同じだ<笑>暗黒流や足の異常はともかくそれぞれの事件に呪いなんていうものが介入する余地なんてあったのか<笑>おかしいとは思わなかったのかねいかに事情があったとして開戦の口実に自国民を虐殺するなど近代国家ではおよそありえない事件だ露見した場合のコストにも見合わない普通ならば理性が邪魔するはずなのだよ黒幕は小貴族の召喚たち。So if you guys are wondering where Ash is, he's currently being detained because he tried to take the Emperor's life. He tried to assassinate him. There's more to it behind it, but that's pretty much the basics of it. Ah, he was good or bad, he was a good one. He was a good one, but 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 he was a good one. ドリシラベデカレラワイテータマガサシタジウンガシンジラレナイトまさかようやさいしょうけんにしてもハーメルのけんにしてもハーメルのけんにしてもハーメルのけんにしてもハーメルのけんにしてもハーメルのけんにし
He's been completely fanboyed by Osborne. そう。I actually do appreciate that photo now since I played the other two series. <laughs>。<laughs> その ナナジュ四体目にして自らの命と引き換えに終末の剣へ消化できる存在だ。バカな。それがミリアムたちが作られた。あ、もうすぐだ、でも、もう一回聞いてみよう。うん。なんか、そうみたい。<笑> いや、そんなことができる。あなただって大切な家族がいるはずだろ。そんな非道なこと。どれだけあなたの娘が。それは仮染めの私だ。今オゼットにフィードバックし続けてきた。時に結社の時に大陸最大の重工業メーカー。ラインフォルトの力を利用しながら。Meanwhile, oh, yeah, we have lower air bonus is just everywhere. And Heimdall and Magic Knights and Cryptics everywhere as well. Aurelia and Wallace is doing their best in their mix to calm down the situation.
Kiri ga nai na. Ee, osoraku, gishiki ga tsuzuku kagiri wa. O futakata. Oh, Ash, sweet. They got Ash. Giri wa hatashita ka. Oh, cool, the courageous. We haven't seen that in a minute. Akaki Tsubasa ka. Hatashite maniyao ka. Maa yoi. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Giria Salzborn. Gilly of Osborne. Sorega that an ish de Mari. Kyoko Sritz Morina. Then look at the Sosas de Mora. Sonda Huzaketa Mane. Set tiny me to Mirren. Bandar no Kento Hokori. Sebeto Kaketemo. You give an assize you, Kakaman. Thomas has a tater that he must. あなたが出る必要はありません。セドリック。間もなく赤も復活し、僕の準備も整います。ならば先に聖獣を目覚めさせるべきでしょう。彼らも前座くらいはこなせるはずです。それは確かに。主よ。いかがでしょう。好きに
Even though Delay got nerfed in this game, if he hits him with Delay, it'll actually delay him quite a bit. It's not as OP as Skull Seal 2, but still. And of course, Serene has his standard Scorpio Master Quartz as the sub Master Quartz. So, our best bet is try to delay him while we roll into a ring to do more damage. But that's essentially the strategy. I can't tell if I delayed him or not. But since the turning angle go back, I guess I didn't. Alright, um. Yeah, we're gonna do our same thing. Well, do. Yeah, just do a normal attack. We don't have to worry about Colonel Birds right now. Look at damage. So you can't link, link him with the ring. I hope I can delay him so we can actually get a turn on. Still can tell. I guess he had been delay him. Get this brave water back going. All right, hope I can delay him. Hopefully, still no delay. Our speed is pretty high too. That's also a reason why we got so many turns off. So this is basically the strategy we're using. As you can see, this is why I love. Curse Brave Order. Hey, I got an AT delay. Sweet. Just to reassure that we can actually keep hitting him without any nonsense. Actually, it was five turns. Eh, I mean, it's, it really doesn't matter, but at the same time, eh, yeah, it does not matter. I know perhaps with a follow up attack, Kirk can do another delay. Nope, but it did. But he did his job though. That's nice. Alright. Just keep leaning with your instructor, guys. He knows what he knows what's up. He's defeated bosses that are larger than this. Nice. Alright, let's sync with again. Again, there's no reason, real reason to go Ogre Power. In fact, I think if you go Ogre Power and your three turns are up, then the permanent stat buff is gone. So there's really no reason to go Ogre Power. Also, if you're wondering why I is getting my 10 points of CP back, because I got the the S rank, um, the, I got the reward for the top rank, which gives you a permanent effect of like the Ice Crown from Cold Steel 2. It gives you 10 CP per turn, which is nice. All right, let's think with Rain. That's basically what we're doing, just doing this: fall up attacks and just keep reinforcing the Brave Order. Pretty broken strategy for the last boss, right? <laughs> All right. Um, let's give Yuna some love that we have not used her yet in anything. Well, we helped her with the break, not the follow-up attacks. That damage show is ridiculous. Okay, let's show off. Uh. All right, Rain, let's finish it. And there she goes. <laughs> nice, good job, guys. That permanent step buff really did help us. <laughs> but unfortunately, it seemed like we only succeeded in pissing it off, though. 
Alright, let's do it. Guys, this, this, this was unexpected. Another reason why I consider, you know, like the secondary protagonist. She seems like she's always up front along with Rain. Of course, we can't do it with Alamar by himself. We need some backup for this one. I really am glad at the fact that Velomar is no longer like fighting these enemies by himself. Oh yeah, by the way, all the guest characters and our friends are outside fighting. Ouroboros and Jaegers, I believe. Oh yeah, Thomas has revealed to everybody he's a Dominion. You know, you should have already really knew about that in the second game, maybe the new game plus. Oh cool, they opened up a pathway for the max. I really do appreciate the fact that they're treating the mechs that. <laughs> eh? <laughs> oh, Dubly. I love Dubly. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I really do appreciate the fact they're making the mechs like these standard soldats that um, New Class 7 have as like special mechs to fight uh, hope with Velomar. Or I'm thinking that's probably one of Velomar's other powers, I'm assuming. There we go, Million. Even though she is fighting against us, she's still a part of Class 7. Dark Valamon, do your thing, bro. Vela, bro. Aw, uh, yeah. Vela, bro. Best bro. <laughs> Dude, this is really reminding me of Xenosaga now. <laughs> Xenosaga and Xenogears. I guess even Altina. Everyone from class 7, old and new, are linked together. And of course, if Altina can link with us, Ash can too. You know, he is unconscious, but he is helping us out spiritually. <laughs> Which is weird, but shouldn't Siegfried also be linked with us as well? Oh, speaking of which... Siegfried? 
見せてもらおうか。Oh god. Now he's really pissed. Alright, so now. Yeah. Whatever. But anyway, so now we are here with our last Divine Knight battle. Yeah, this is the last one. And as the last one, this is going to be a pretty beefy enemy. So we need to pull out all the, all the stops. We have the entirety of Class 7 Link with the max. Um. I guess I'm gonna actually consider something. Yeah. Actually, what's Sarah like? Champion speed, huh? Yeah, let's actually do that for Sarah. That was Sarah. I'll, I'll probably not use Muse, but you never know. We're gonna primarily use Green, Yuna, and Kurt. Um, let's go with Feed, but she can increase our speed. And then, oh, yeah, the strength for. Anyway, yeah, alright, that should work. Yeah. Yeah, that should work. What? Well, uh, yeah, that should work. That should work. Let's go. Sweet, we get our first turns off. Sweet. Alright, guys, prepare for a lengthy mech fight. Or a large scale battle, if you would. I don't know what to call these kinds of battles. I just keep calling them mech fights or Kishin fights or. Large scale battles. I don't know what uh, is that classification of Okay, so he starts off with a attack that's gonna attack us all, so we need to actually cancel that out and sends Yuna's next. We're gonna try to cancel that nonsense out. Now, now Bowser is actually a little different because because he actually his his weaknesses are different. I should say. Um, um, I think this is Lex. I think that changed that stage. Yeah. yeah. That stage. Yeah, let's see this thing. Sarah's enough. And, this, and he can hit like a freaking truck. Let's see how much damage he does. But you know what? I prefer if he did a normal attack compared to his specials. Oof. Hmm, gonna take all of us. You know what? Let's see if we give it to Kurt as well. So he can count that out. Yeah, no, missed opportunity to use Sarah's OP arts, but gotta count that out. I don't want that nonsense right now. Yeah, yeah, a balance too. That's a bonus. Ow. So the main point is to try to get him to his neutral state as much as possible. Alright. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna switch. Oh, by the way, this is a cool detail, but um, for example, you switch to Altina. Yeah, it'd be like that, and also with the Ash, I believe. Yeah, there we go. They're supporting us spiritually and through links. He's going to attack, so I I know Eustace has a yeah, he has a art that can lower his art his attack, so it won't do that much damage to us. So I'll take that. If he's gonna hit us, I might as well just hit us with blows. So he gets two turns. But it's not gonna be as much, thank god. And let's show it off. He shoots laser beams ult with us with his eyes. That is kind of cool, actually. <laughs> All right. And <laughs> I think I'll, I'll heal Kurt. I believe. Actually, hmm. Let's use our last one with Dalmar so he can get some CP going. All right. Yeah, we can do that. All right, we can do that. Uh, do 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 do. Yeah, just try to get on a balance and try to use our attack. We're gonna heal. Oh yeah, we get to use my favorite one, a Kurt. Kurt is such a cool character, I love his moves. I really do. <laughs> like, a dual wielding, automatically he gets bonus points for dual wielding, but he's such a cool character.
ドルーブレードいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンバ So now if he hits us, it won't be as much. Ow! <laughs> you jerk, that hurts. I think I actually remember his weakness. I think I do. Nah. <laughs> if we can get a, un a guaranteed unbalance, or not, I wouldn't say guarantee, but a unbalance on him and cancel his attack, sure, let's go for it. Alright, so with Usus, bro, let's try to lower his speed, I guess. Maybe this opportunity to also heal Kurt as well. Yes, kill Kurt. Why not? Just in case. Good thing I did that too, but I wasn't paying attention to who he was, who he was targeting. <laughs> I honestly did not know about that. Go on, Unbalance, I want to see that mysterious blade again. Aw, uh, yeah, yeah. And this can probably break him, too. I would only skip this, but I love Kurt's fighting style so much, so... Screw me. <laughs> I love his fighting style. I really do. One of the coolest fighting styles. I love dual wielding. So that's why I'm a fan of Lloyd from Symphonia. Again. You just got whirlwind, yo. Twice. <laughs> Okay. Unfortunately, Kurt would not get a turn right before he did. That's fine. Um. Yeah, no matter what, we're gonna be right behind him. So, might as well. Lower his defense, I guess. Yeah, lower his defense. Hmm. Yeah, that was lower his defense. I love that. As our defense is down too, he's gonna use that to lower his speed a little bit. Nice. Right, I've only Curry could act one more time. I could try to delay him and get another shot off. But fortunately, it was not meant to be as it is. Oh, snap, Sarah gets a go? Oh, yeah. This dragon is gonna get like buff like he is, not even funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah, you're not doing that. Just don't think about it. Relax. You know, just stand there on your normal stance while I just keep doing that to you. That's all I ask. Oh, we can get another special attack if we can keep this up. That's actually kind of sweet, actually. Uh, our defense is down again. Also, speed. Let's go with Altina. Lower speed some more. It's the same thing. Oh, yeah, this is going to hurt a lot. <laughs> Let's hit it again. And we, we just afflicted the defense debuff on him. Oh yeah, he's gonna get, feel, feel this. <laughs> he's gonna feel this like it's not even funny. <laughs> yeah. 
Nice. G's over 100,000. Ow. That hurts. Oh no, what to do? <laughs> I wonder what to really do. It's not, not like I can cancel your, your stance or anything. Alright. Curse actually running low on CP right now. So I need to be careful with that. I don't want to get too cocky. Um... Can I use it one more time? Yes, can. I, oh, well, yeah, it's just was Kurt, not with Yuna. I thought for a second he was with Yuna for some reason. Yeah. Keep lowering that speed, yo. Ow! <laughs> that hurts. Oh, jeez, what to do? I have no idea. It's not like I can keep <laughs> canceling your stances or anything. Uh, uh, Yeah, no matter what I do is gonna be that, but it would be not nice to get an unbalance on him. That's Morning Moon, I don't wanna use that, of course. Eh. I guess we can show this off. I don't think I ever show this off anyway. Very appropriate to in the last battle. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I think I was gonna be unbalanced. But that move seems so powerful, yo. Ain't he stun? Oh yeah, it's over. <laughs> Just telling you that right now. Ah, uh, no, 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 we won't do it. Ah, uh, you know what? No, that's fine. We'll have you know do this. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a finisher. Let's give you know, the spotlight for this one. Because I want to finish it off in style. Basta! And we are done. <laughs> not bad, not bad. I found that actually a little easier. I don't know, maybe because it was a little easier because we have like so much stuff on us right now, and our levels are high. Good warning, I have not used any shiny palms. This is from Genuine Grinding. But unfortunately, he is still not going down. He still has some fight in him. Crap. Everyone else is making us down. Let's do it, you two. Show them what we did back in Cold Steel, too. Oh, dear lord. So the Sumerian sword won't work. Unfortunately, the nameless one can only be destroyed with the sword of the mines. So the Sumerian sword is out of luck on that one. And of course, in order, in order to get the Zora of the Mines, we need to kill an OC series which have reached their field. I.e. Altina. Anyway, during my rambling, Albert got a call saying that, that the Courageous is on his way. 
Oh yeah. Reinforcements once again. Thank God you guys came at the right time. Huh, Shara. He's referring to Shirazard from the Sky Games. And there's Mueller. I know reinforcements feel so good. Exactly. Oh, yeah, if you're wondering why George there. Yeah, George is actually a gnome. So he's one of the bad guys. Go figure. <laughs> and then that orb that was behind Siegfried, like a cross spell. Yeah, that was Alberic. And that's also the reason why Alyssa, whenever she was listening to the voice, she was like kind of. She was kind of like wondering who that voice was because it sounded so familiar to her. Well, of course, it was her father. So I'm pretty sure she like put the pieces together when she heard it, but she didn't say anything. Yes, Laura, your father is back. Albert, what are you doing? What are you doing, Albert? A button? I don't like the sound of that. What's gonna happen? Game? Tell me what's gonna happen. Oh, sweet Jesus, of course. This is Albert and Osborne we're talking about. They had everything planned out already. Jesus, man. No, Oliver, you can't die. You can't either, Toval, or even you, Victor. You guys still have time to evacuate. They don't. Damn it. And with that, the courageous is destroyed. Killing Victor Tobal and Oliver. Just like that. Right before their eyes. 
You and Dooley can't believe it. George? Oh yeah, Alfin, she must be really upset now. Alfin. いつから気づいていた。最初からです。もともと何かある人だとは。最初から思っていました。これでようやく全貌がつかめました。ハイアームズの若様。結界はしばらく持ちますので、お任せしてもよろしいでしょうか。構わないよ。あなたはどこへ
There's a shout out back to Cold Still, not Cold Still, um, Chosen Sky, and of course, Cedric. And of course, Lissa, knowing that her father was responsible for that, that has to hurt. Sigrid? Oh, right. Oh, sweet lord. Great. One bad thing happened after another. Now his sword broke. Well, not like it was gonna help us anyway, but. Rain! Valor! Get your hands off her, Cedric. Altina? Talk about irony. In the last game, Altina kidnapped Cedric. Now it's the other way around this game. Altina. Get up, guys. Do something. Hello. Oh yeah, Altina. Good job, Altina. Oh yeah, Altina's back with us now. We might have a fighting chance now. But she's putting herself in danger for Green and um. Altina. Huh? That voice. Milium? <laughs> oh yeah, the OC sisters are back. Nice. Screw that noise. You're part of class 7, Milium. And as I said, when an OC series model has reached their field and die, they become the Sword of Demise. To slay the nameless one. Rain. Rain. Oh. 
and with the rage of losing his friend right in front of him. This is the true power that Rima was afraid of. Secure that noise. <laughs> let's go, Rain. Even though this plan's gonna backfire, let's go, Rain. Yes, we have one more Divine Knight battle, but however, this is probably the most easiest Divine Knight battle in the entirety of the series. Now, as you can see, the Nameless One, uh, he's actually with one arm right now. Now, he will not be able to act because he's so um, injured. And you can do whatever you want to. Just watch. And everything's a guarantee unbalanced with him. In fact, we'll just use, let's just go down his list. Shanae! <laughs> And of course you see Rain. Shana! Kill him. Destroy him, Rain. Embrace your hatred. Go deeper into darkness, Rain. By the way, give you a good look at how Valmar looks right now. Yeah, it is a demonic form of Valmar. Finish it. A more demonic version of enlightened domination. It's not enlightened in, in more. More like a darkened domination. Even though you felt badass as shit, unfortunately, this is going to backfire because this is exactly what Osborne and Albert wanted. So at the end, they did get their plan to succeed, albeit through the different means. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Osborne planned this. But Reen is completely berserk now. Oh, Alyssa. Rin has some good friends. Even though he's like this, they're so concerned for him. But no one can do anything about him right now. Even though him going berserk and Cold Steel 1 was something else, no, that is cake compared to what's happening now. Can anyone do something about Rin? Unfortunately, the Great Twilight is now upon us. So, at the end of the day, Osborne and Albert got their wish. They got their... Yeah, they got their wish. <laughs> oh, man. Now, as you can see, the curse is spreading throughout Erebonia. I want to say this is going to be spreading throughout all of Zemiria. Not just Erebonia, specifically. As the curse spreads.
So honestly, you can't really blame Reen entirely because like the plan was going to go through regardless. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if that was Oz as what Osborn was planning on having that happen anyway. But like he knew Reen was going to come and try to stop him, and he knew my Million was going to try to protect him, and he knew Million was going to die and become the sword of the mice, and Reen was going to grab the sword. Like I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Like it's very circumstantial that Ring did that, but still, again, it was going to happen anyway because that was the reason why they wanted to sacrifice Altina. So it was done by Ring's hands. He pretty much let his emotions get to him. I mean, but then again, that's still totally understandable. I mean, like if your friend died right in front of your eyes, then of course anyone would be upset. In Reen's case, he has a power within him that just goes berserk when he, he's in that state. I mean, back at Cold Steel 1, when Elise was going to get killed by that magic knight, you saw how Reen, he went berserk. And of course, you know, his story about when he killed that animal to protect Elise as kids. Yep, and now the grass is going, growing throughout the world and it's actually starting to affect people. ですが、今回の件で再認識しました。今回の実行犯の背後にどのような国家が関わっていたのかを。カルバード共和国ベルヌ社政そしてここ数日、100名近い共和国人が帝都に潜入していたことも判明しています。それが意味することは明白である。東
何があったんだランディさん今のはああ何かがあったのは間違いねえアガッタさん大丈夫だ何があってもお前のことは始まったかジョージするとクローはもう後戻りでけへんなああ我らの本会とはいえ私たち何に手を貸したんですの分からないだがこれがマスター長きにわたる望み<笑>決まっているじゃない大いなる黄昏つまり世界の終わりに手を貸したのさ減塩計画の完遂と引き換えにね最悪の事態になってしまったのそちらはどう動くつもりじゃもはや事態は帝国だけにとどまらないでしょう慎重に動く必要があります世界を終わらせないためにもAnd Rina's back at it again. Okay, Rina, I think you can stop. But then he's in berserk mode, so he's not gonna listen to Rina. Nah, that's enough, Rina. Please, he just kept slashing him until he disintegrated. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. He's going straight towards him. Oh, it's one outbreak. <laughs> oh, that's a bit concerning for you guys. But Reen, you better stop. I want you to kill him too, but you need to stop. It's not going to end well if you do. Sick freak. Tuck. This time, I'm Oh yeah, that's right. Crow's back. Nana no Kishinika. Kso Tarina Shikumino Atta Mondose. Yes, he's back. Anta Kyokuga. So he's gonna try to stop ringing. Even Rockman's gonna do it as well. <clears throat> oh, bro, wait, they, that's right, they're all awakeners. Even Ironhood is going to do it. That's right, they're all Awakeners, so they can actually stop Rain. So they can just summon their Divine Knights. So including Tessarosa, which is Cedric's Divine Knight, and Rain, and how are these guys so freaking calm? Seriously. <laughs> if I saw a berserk mech going straight towards me, I would kind of freak out. Good job, Crow. But anyway, including Tessarosa and Balamal, we have a total of five Divine Knights in here. Of the seven. Okay, good job. They got rid of the sword. Nice. Good, good, good. Mada, mada. Deska. So, can't you like? But unfortunately, Rain is still berserk, though. Okiro. 
テスタロッサ Seriously, this, this is Gundam for real now. We just have mechs everywhere. <laughs> We have like mechs almost everywhere in this freaking place. Every freaking corner of this place. <laughs> Even though you guys haven't picked up a hint, yeah, Tessarosa kind of messed them up. <laughs> As if him trying to kill Altina didn't give enough of a, of a hint. Or him going on with Osborne. Oh lord. Yes, of course. Freaking Osborne is a freaking awakener. How did I freaking figure? Why not? <laughs> Of course he's an awakener. Why wouldn't he be? Jesus Christ. Okay, now we have six of the seven divine knights now. Who would have freaking thought? Kurono <laughs> <laughs> yep, and there we go. Osborne is the Wagoner. So. Jesus Christ, there's mechs everywhere in this freaking place. But more importantly, Osborne, what are you doing? Jesus. Well, at least he's not berserking anymore. Yeah, Marine, you kind of went berserk mode after Million died. <laughs> Osborne? Rain? Rain? <laughs> Wait, what? Yep, and there, <laughs> that's the end of it. <laughs> yes, that is the end of Sendo Kissing Key 3. Yes, Cold Seal 3. <laughs> that cliffhanger, that's all I gotta say. That cliffhanger. Oh man, that was epicness, I swear. I'm so glad I got into this freaking series. Especially after I played the other games too, including Trails from Zero or Trails of Zero and Trails of Manager. And now you gotta see why they're making Cold Steel 4. You guys kinda kinda like got a hint of that when the game was announced. <sighs> but yep, Cold Steel 3 is completed. Well, on this channel. It was being completed by other YouTubers, but of course I was too late to the party, but hey, at least I defeated it. I beat the game. Anyway, yes, I finally beat a game on this channel. Can you believe it? Like, it felt like it's been ages since I actually beat the game on this channel, ever since I also did that hiatus that lasted for almost a year. But I'm back, and I'm sorry I have not been uploading as much, too. I've been meaning to, meaning, meaning to do that channel update for the longest, but of course, uh, things have been too busy so far. Plain enough, I never have time to record, but, but not make that channel update. I need to make it as soon as possible. But yep, I am looking forward to Cold Steel 4. That game's gonna be crazy. Like, I've seen, a, I've seen like the first two hours of the game so far, and I, I do like what I see. I'm not gonna say anything, of course, but just looking forward to it when I do it. And I'm so sorry that this is not like an official full boss run. This isn't like the 
the one I did back in Cold Steel 2, but I don't know a lot of people liked my Cold Steel 2 playthrough, playthrough list in that game because I was showing off the Bonnie events and everything. So, so yeah, sorry for the abridged playlist or boss run, but hey, I, I did like, like this so I can make up for it too. <laughs> Not to mention, since this game is in Japanese, you guys really wouldn't get the um, Bonnie events and such. And sorry, I have not also been um, telling you guys in great detail what they're talking about. I have a gist of what they're talking about, and I'm actually reading a um, translation of it, but I'll probably hold it off on after I beat Cold Steel 4 now, because I've procrastinated too long to actually read the spreadsheet and such. <clears throat> oh man, that's such a good feeling to actually beat the game. That cliffhanger, though. <laughs> that cliffhanger, though. <laughs> Ah, oh, man. And also, if you guys are wondering when the game's gonna be released in English, like this game in particular, because this is after Cold Steel 2, which got released in the US last year, I believe. Um, I would say give it till after the release of Cold Steel 4. Like, it might be immediately after Cold Steel 4 is released in Japan, or Sano Kinski 4, or just a month or so, or might be immediately, who knows, just, I'm pretty sure it's going to be after it, or probably towards the end of the year, they're going to announce it for early next year, so, just be patient, I know you guys want to really play the series, I mean, Lord knows, like, if I wasn't, like, stupid enough to buy a Japanese game, then I probably, probably would, would be feeling the same way you guys are as well, but I am insane in the membrane, and I decided to get the Japanese version. That was very fun. Um, I am kind of miffed that the, the lane got nerfed in the game, but at the same time, they wanted to try something out with it, with the whole brake system and everything. But if you actually can play your cards right, like I was feeling before, you just had Yuno know, or anyone that had a brave order who can increase your brake damage and had a lot of brake courts and um, increase your strength a lot, and you use your aircraft at the beginning, you can break enemy or boss immediately. The only exception to that rule was um, Zoro. <sighs> I'm really happy to beat this game. I really do. It should be uploaded before um, Cold Steel Three or sorry, Cold Steel Four is released, and I'll probably be able to upload the opening. And honestly, I don't know how I'm going to tackle that one too. It might be a bridge playlist or not. Like, if you guys have any suggestions of, if you guys want me to do the same thing I did with um, Cold Steel 2, just let me know. I'll even include all the bonding events if possible. Or well, certainly if possible. I'm pretty sure it's easy to do. <clears throat> Man, it feels so good. <laughs> It's been a long time to actually beat this game. Yeah, and beat a game on my channel. But before we go, there are actually some words from Falcon they want to actually share with us. Finally, the end and sorrow flame broken out. Despair covers the empire, the continent, and our world. However, don't get discouraged. We can still shine the lights of hope. In our hearts, and in intertwined hands, and in our uncompromising eyes, rest for a while and stand up together. Watch the damn fairy tale until it has finished. And as you can see, the state of Valimar. To be continued, Sin Okinsuki, the last saga. Yep, this is going to be the end of everything. The Sky series, the Crossbell series, and the Erebonian series. 
and then we'll quit the game. Because I don't really don't need to save it. And there we go. Whenever you, you open up the title screen, there's a different image based off of where you are in the, in the game. But this is the image after you have beaten the game. And with that, we have ended the playthrough. Uh, again, guys, I said it before, but thank you guys so much for for sticking with me for so long. I'm really sorry about the hiatus that I put myself into, but hopefully I'll be able to do this more consistently. Like, I won't be daily, of course, because of my life and such. I'm going to say I have a job. I'm trying to, trying to take care of other obligations as well. But I will try to uh, upload as, as, as consistently as possible. Excuse me. So with that, I will end it here. So tell me guys how you guys did with the boss, that last boss. I'm actually very interested to see what you guys did that I um, did differently than I did. I feel like I did pretty good with that boss. And until then guys, take care. I'll see you guys for the next game. Peace out.